Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Jesslyn. Um, this week I'm going to be showing you 15 different uh, mini crochet patterns that would be great for keychains if you are interested in making some crochet keychains. These are free patterns that I found on Ribbler uh, that I tested to see if they're easy to follow or if I really enjoyed the visuals of the pattern. Uh, I did cut out a couple patterns from this video and had to find some replacements because the patterns were just not that easy to follow or were just complicated and not fun to make. I try to also pick ones that are fun to make. So I have a list of 15 here that we're gonna go through and I will show you and give you my little notes on uh, what I remember about making them and how difficult it was or if I had any problems. I didn't honestly have as much of a problem with these keychains as I have in previous videos with like some of the bigger patterns. Most of these are written really well and some of them are duplicates of the same creators because they make a lot of mini projects and I like them, I follow all of them. As all of these are free, but you have to follow some of the accounts with your Ripler account to get them. But I mean, why wouldn't you anyways? They're giving you something free, so it's very kind of them. I think most of these are absolutely adorable and I'm very excited to share them with you. I showed some of them in my What I Made in June and July video uh, because I just like to see the actual haul of everything I made, whether that gives spoilers or not. I will be linking all of these creators down in the description. Um, you cannot link through Ribbler to direct patterns, but you can link to their account. So with the name and the account, you should be able to find all of these patterns. So starting from my least favorite to my most favorite, number one is this gummy bear pattern. Um, I, it's my least favorite only because I don't really see it as a gummy bear with worsted weight. Um, I think gummy bears look better in the baby yarn or the, you know, the baby blanket yarns, but in worsted, it's kind of just a blob. It doesn't really look <laughs> like a gummy bear. Um, it could look like a little bear if you put little eyes in it though, but maybe not a gummy bear pattern, but it is very cute and super simple. So if you like this one or if you use uh, baby blanket yarn, I would recommend trying this one out. This pattern is by Honey Crochets. Uh, they'll be linked down below, but really cute, super easy to follow, very well written. This next one is gonna be the No So Mini Dumbo Octopus by Chibi's Crochets. I really like this one. Um, only number two because the bottom's a little bit complicated. I'm, I think it's just that I'm not a huge fan of making these octopus ones and closing after doing all the tentacles. So I just keep trying different ones to see which one I like, but it's absolutely adorable. I've wanted to make a Dumbo octopus for a while because I love Dumbo octopuses. They're just so cute. Again, this one is so cute in the baby blanket yarn. Next one is the No So Mini Jellyfish by Bubbles Crochet. And it flows like this, it's so cute, but I think that's just uh, acrylic kind of takes shape and it's been laying down, but it usually, when you make it, it looks like this. I'm trying to make it where it doesn't have like a harsh light, but absolutely adorable. I love this one. I'll definitely make more of these. This one is easy to follow and not super annoying to crochet inside the tentacles and finish it off. So I liked this one. I don't really have any uh, feedback for this pattern. It was super easy to follow and definitely beginner friendly. Number four is gonna be Strawberry by Shays Gurumi. Uh, they did not add in eyes. I added in eyes on some of these fruit food ones because I wanted them to be a little cuter. I didn't add blush to this one. I thought the white spots were enough and I think it's cute. Maybe I'd put the eyes a little bit closer together on the next one. I think I used eight millimeters on this one. Most of these are six millimeters, but I think it's very cute. I would absolutely make this one again. This would be very cute with white and pink. I think I'll try making one in pink and try the eyes a little bit closer and see which pattern I like better, but like, oh my gosh, I love this one. Number five is gonna be the Mini Dumpling by Lily's Crochet Shop. Oh my gosh, so cute. I've seen so many people making dumplings and just absolutely think they're so adorable. Uh, I love dumplings too. Look at it. This one I gave eight millimeters as well because I think that sixes were just too little and I needed to kind of fit it. This is one of the bigger ones that I made, but just because it's kind of flat, I think I'll, even you could make this one with less, one less round of increases to make it a little smaller for a keychain, which I might do 
in the future and see how I like that. I think this is the only one I did a smile on. Let me see if I can. Because it just was so odd looking without the smile. But I planned on not doing it with the smile and then I was like, ah, oh, that, it needs the smile for sure. It's so adorable. I don't know that I'd make a ton of these in the future. I don't know how well they'll sell. If it sells, I'll definitely make more, but I, oop, I don't know how well these would sell. But I love, it's such a little cutie. It's not very big. See, it's much bigger, like width-wise than the strawberry. So I added the keychain kind of at an angle so it won't get in your way. Definitely try this one if you like dumplings. Number six is gonna be Cat by Crafter Frog. I've seen this one a bunch. It's absolutely so cute and blanket yarn. I'm not sure how it turned out. It's a little harsh lighting here, so it's not giving it a fair shake, but it's cute. It's a little cat. It has a lot of little sewing parts. It has seven in total, which I feel like a lot of those could have been included in, like in the rounds, except for maybe the ears, but I feel like the legs definitely could have been and even the tail. So. I might try incorporating those into the pattern in the future, just like kind of adjust it for myself so that I don't have to sew on all these little pieces in the future. But I don't even know if it really looks like a cat in my version, but I do think it's cute. Um, it's, a, it's a little cat. I'm still looking for a good mini cat pattern, but I think cat pattern, cats are kind of hard because there's so many moving parts to them. But the little face, let me see if I can just show you the face. Did a little itty bitty snout and two little whiskers on each side. I like this one. It was fairly easy, like it's basically just a, a oval. So cute, definitely try this little cat pattern if this is up your alley. If you have blanket yarn, absolutely try it. It looks so cute, fluffy. Like her version is so cute. So eventually when I go through all my stash, I'll get some fluffy yarns that I can, or blanket yarns that I can try out these patterns that I say in the past that I like in uh, blanket yarn, but I'll try them eventually. Maybe that'll be a fun video, trying all the ones I think would look better in plush. Number seven is going to be the Mini Carrot by Mimi Crochet Co. And it's so cute. I hate carrots. This is like the one food I absolutely hate, but I think crochet carrots are absolutely adorable. And I think I'd make a couple of these. I want to make some of the food ones for my daughter and my son for when they're playing around. So when I eventually make them play foods, which I think would also be a fun video, uh, making them a bunch of play foods for a set, this would be awesome for their little hands. It's so cute. So if you're thinking about that, this is a great free pattern for those. I hate this color green. I don't know what to use it on, but it actually looks so good with the carrot. So maybe I'll use it on some of the strawberries too, because it's such a bright, bright green. Um, it's like one I got from somebody else from one of them giving me their stash and so I'm trying to use that and waste not so it's so cute. I don't know what it is about crochet carrots that I find so adorable but Easter these would be fantastic to sell. I'll still bring a couple because some people love carrots. They just love carrots um, but not me. <laughs> Anyways try that one out if you're interested. Number eight is going to be the Mini Pickle by Crochet by Shea. This one is so cute. It looks great in the worsted weight. It looks a little harsh. Uh, the lighting looks a little harsh here, but oh my gosh. The little pickle. I don't, I also don't like pickles that much, which is so funny that I love making the pickles, but something about crochet food versions, like, Oh, they're so cute. I feel like I should like pickles. I love salt so much. Anybody else? I'm a salt fiend. Some people use the bobble to make a nose. I'm just gonna adjust the eyes differently on each one, but I wanted there to be a bobble. It kind of does look like he has a low nose, but maybe I'll adjust on the next one. So cute, my hand looks huge. I think because he makes such big pieces, the ones that people like love, love, if you can make mini versions, you should for a, to grab that extra audience that can't afford the bigger pickles. Just love it. I just love it. I'm definitely gonna make more pickles, 100%. For number nine, it's gonna be the Mini No So Crab by Jill's Crochet Space. I love this one. I'm a Cancer, so I love this one. 
it's a very bright red yarn this one it, it kind of washes out all my edits because it's so bright to edit it any brighter um, to make my other pieces pop the red just like pops off but I like how bright it is in person I think it's very eye-catching definitely gonna have to try to find a red this bright after I run out of this one because I don't have too many reds uh, I have a ton of blue because blue is like one of my least favorite colors don't hate me for that but uh, I don't use it a ton, so I'm trying to get into it because people love blue. So I'm trying to find projects that I'm trying to find projects that are good for blue pieces. I have a ton of navy. Somebody gave me like ten skeins of navy at one point, and I've been working my way through it for a couple of years. So I'm probably down to like six, and that's one of the reasons that I made um, such big, such a big blue bear with it last time. Trying to make like a night sky bear. It's adorable, you could definitely add in blush. I'm not sure why I didn't add in blush on this one. I don't think it needs it even, but I think it'd be cute to do a bunch of little zodiac, like a zodiac section. So, especially like the year, I can't remember what it is for this year. I looked it up because it's the year my son was born. I wanted to know what year he was. I don't remember which one it is. I'm not too familiar with the zodiacs, but little crab for cancer season. I love the little crab. I want to do more of these in different colors, oranges and pinks and even tans. This would be great during the summer when it's super hot. Um, these with my little lobsters, like, oh my gosh, imagine. I love it. I love, I love the summer and all the little summer animals that come along with it. Number 10 is going to be the mini eggy by Honey Crochets, which also, she also made the she makes a ton of mini patterns. Definitely check out her account if you're on Ribbler. Yeah, I think you just have to follow. Just follow for all of these ones. But the egg is so cute. Look at the little blush. Wow, I love the egg. I've wanted to do a crochet egg for a while. In the past, I've made a bunch. It's actually in my whips basket. But I have a bunch of gudetamas that I was making at one point. Um, I don't remember. I think I just wanted to put them all around my house because I love gudetama. That's my favorite one other than Agret Suko. Um, those are my two favorites, but I love it's so cute. It's like the size of your palm, but it's so light. And then look at the clean back. I was very proud of the clean back. Ah, little fried egg. Sorry if you hear my family in the background here. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't just let out a big scream for fun. Let's see. Can you hear her baby talking? I wonder if you guys can hear her baby talking in the background. <laughs> Number 11 is gonna be Cow by Crafter Frog. This one is so absolutely adorable and blanket yarn, and it is cute and worsted. I did a little, oh, let me try to do this so you can see that little bow, so cute. I'll do it down here so you can see it in all its glory, but it's so little. Oh, something about all these little creatures. So cute. Little cow, I did this one as a brown cow because I'm working out of my stash and I just thought this one would look really nice as a little tan cow with like a little white bow. Like look at the little white bow. Come on, it's a little show cow for real. <laughs> Bug eye baby. Number 12 is another cow pattern. It's Baby Cow by Jill's Crochet Space. And look at it. This is one of the ones that. Uh, somebody messaged me for uh, that's a new follower. So thank you for subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed making this one because I love seeing uh, people try out the ones that I suggest. They're so much fun. It has like this little tail like this. The other one doesn't have a tail. I like the tail aspect. I think this one's like you crochet in for the tail. Love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's such a baby. The brown and white cow. I feel like maybe if I made it in the future I'd make these one brown smaller but I love how absolutely adorable this one is and I think because I live in Texas these are gonna do very well year-round because we love cows. What girl doesn't love cows? Cows are such sweeties. The little pink nose, all the different colors on this one for such a small little piece I think it's it just stands out. This one is, I did eight millimeter eyes. You could definitely do six millimeter eyes with this pattern, but I thought the eight millimeters gave it really big baby eyes and I loved it. And 
Here's a picture of the bag. It's so cute. I just love going through all these mini ones this week and just seeing them around. My daughter loves them. She keeps trying to get to them. She hasn't seen some of them because I made a couple today to finish up before I made the video, but it's so cute. Number 13 is gonna be the Mini Strawberry Turtle by Chibi's Crochets. And wow, it has a lot of moving parts, but it's so adorable. This one would definitely have to be a little bit more expensive because it just takes so long, but it is worth it when you look at it. Like, wow, it's so cute. I have to time this one out to see what, because most of them, I think I'm gonna do like a base price, but these ones that are a little bit more complicated even has like a little tail, so you have to sew on like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces to this one, uh, similar to the cat. And it's worth it though, very easy. It's, it's easy, I love this one. The head's the most complicated little moving part, but I think the placement is adorable. And I'm so glad that it gives me the opportunity to put the eyes on straight that while I'm learning. So I think I've got the eyes pretty straight on this one. He looks a little wonky straight on. Right, you can adjust the head. I think that's just the way I have it. it he's been stuffed in a pocket waiting to emerge. What's well, about the size of my palm? Oh. <gasps> Poor baby, I dropped him. I haven't tried it in like basic strawberry colors. Like I think it'd look good in more like red and green as well, but not better. I think this is so cute with the little teals. I don't have a ton of these colors, so I was really glad to use them on a project that fits them very well. The teal turtle, oh my gosh. I love when people make little strawberry turtles. I love watching everybody's turtles and I knew they were a lot of work watching them. I was like, wow, yeah, of course those are expensive. I, I love it. This would be a great gift as well. If you're making something for somebody else, who wouldn't like this? Who wouldn't like this? Come on. If they don't like this, they're a hater. Number 14, and number 14 were a toss up for me because these are my two favorites and I wasn't sure which one. The slot for number 14 is gonna be Chubby Axolotl by Bubbles Crochet. And look at that baby, oh my gosh. Look at it, it's so cute. It's little bubble legs. And you crochet on instead of sewing them on, which I really liked how easy this pattern was to do that on. Like, it looks so good from the top and the bottom. I love the crochet axolotl patterns. Axolotls, I've always loved watching axolotl care videos. It's such a baby. Oh man. I definitely need to get a bigger pattern uh, that's similar to this body shape because these are so cute. Absolutely a thousand percent recommend. Axolotls, I've heard do amazingly at markets and this would be a fantastic gift for anybody that loves axolotls, most people do. I'm surprised because when I talk to older people like my parents or uh, my husband's parents, they don't know even what an axolotl is. And I wonder if it's Minecraft that popularized it, but I feel like I was into axolotls before Minecraft introduced them because I was watching so many care videos about different animals on YouTube and, ooh, and uh, they're so sweet. So I wonder if, if I have any older people in my audience do you know what axolotls are? Because I'm curious if it's just like a my generation and younger thing. I don't, I don't think this one needs a mouth. I kind of like it bug-eyed and baby-like. You could definitely do smaller eyes, but I wanted it to be baby-faced. <laughs> Absolutely love that pattern. Number 15 is my absolute favorite pattern out of all of these. It is the Loso Opossum Pattern by Lunar Crochet. And it is so easy and so adorable. I mean, it's such a little baby. I cannot wait to make more of these. And I think it'd be so cute to make one of these or like two or three of these and sew them on top of a bigger possum. Like it's a mama possum and it's carrying around its babies. Maybe I'll just display it that way. I love it. It's so little. I love possums straight on look at the baby I love I will absolutely make a ton of these little uh, baby possums I think these will sell well and I kind of want to put this one on my keys myself I'm gonna have to pick one to put on my keys so I'll have to make a ton more of these I do have a bigger possum version if you're looking for that in my I think it's in my large 
medium to large uh, free workwear patterns video. And I already made like a ton of those because I enjoyed making the possum so much and I've wanted to make one for so long. And soon I'll be doing a bunch of axolotls because that's another one I've wanted to do for so long. I really hope you liked all of these patterns or that you at least found some that you found like, interesting enough to make. And I hope you guys enjoy making them. Please let me know what your favorites are to make if you pick a couple. Uh, you can definitely tag me and definitely tag the original uh, pattern writer and what you're making. I would love to see it because I love being tagged in all these little uh, videos and stuff. TikTok, Instagram, just let me know. Uh, I will, I do peek at them. I need to go through and comment on everybody since they like, wow, because y'all are so good. I love seeing so many like different smaller accounts that I wouldn't have been able to see if you guys weren't following me. Uh, so I do go through and see everybody that's been following me and so interesting to go through and see all everybody's different like style. I have been working on a new pattern this week as well. I wrote one and the first try turned out so it's such a baby and it's over on my TikTok if you want to see it. I'm working on a cat and I did the first design and I have a couple adjustments to make so I might show, I think I'll be showing that on YouTube at the end of the month for my what I made in August video, which is crazy that it's already August. How did that happen? I don't know, but I'm very excited for my what I made in August video. All these little ones, I'm gonna have to make some bigger stuff because I've been working on minis and they do not create a very big pile at all. And um, I'll have to be, I think the rest of the month, I'll be working on some more like crochet with me videos or what I could make in a day, um, just you crochet with me for a day. If you want any of these patterns, please check out the creators below and they have tons of other patterns as well. Um, but you can go through and see all of these and give them, give them a try. I know for a fact some of these have some other patterns that other people might be interested in. I love all these accounts, I follow all of them. If I'm taking a pattern from their account, I try to go and follow their account. Um, I will be posting them on my Ribbler, like all my makes and journals of these pretty soon so that everybody can see, um, if you go through my Ribbler and see my makes, you might be able to find them through there. Thank you to these creators that release these free patterns. We all very much appreciate it. And they're so much fun to do uh, on the side, just a little mini project for half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, thank you to everybody for watching this video. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much. I just hit a thousand subscribers yesterday and my sister, my little sister is so sweet. She, I had told her she was going to come over and hang out with me and I told her because I was so excited um, and she will probably be the one that comes to markets with me other than my husband because she's an artist as well and I want her to come and kind of show her stuff off and get a taste for markets because I think she'd get a little inspired but I, she was absolutely so sweet and she got me um, a bunch of candy and was like this is to celebrate so I waited till I hit a thousand because I was like 11 away to um, have a celebratory chocolate bar last night so I had me a big Hershey's bar <laughs> and I'm gonna have another one today because I am so excited about this it's the first time I've ever hit a thousand on YouTube and I am so looking forward to joining the partner program I'm about 300 watch hours away and it's just so thrilling to see it come by. I was not, when I first started, I looked up, you know, how, how long it would take me. And I was expecting about a year before I hit the program. And it's only been three, four months, which is crazy. Y'all are crazy. Thank you so much for watching my videos as much as you do. I sincerely very much appreciate it. And I think it kind of helps me that I have longer form content to hit those watch hours. Cause a lot of people, it takes them you know, posting 10 minute videos a full year to hit those watch hours, but I enjoy long form content. So that's just what I started making. And it seems to be the way to go. So if you're working on your own crochet YouTube or craft account, I would recommend long form content because people really like sit and listen to people while they're crafting. And I do, I love watching people craft. It's always been filled in my For You pages um, all across different websites. I am incredibly humbled by hitting a thousand subscribers so quickly and I 
I can't thank you guys enough for that. That's so awesome. And you guys are so sweet in the comments. Um, please let me know if you make any of these or if you have any like patterns on Ribbler that you really like, because this could be a great series as more are posted. I already have a couple more that I've added to a list that I want to make when I make another Ribbler video in the future. Uh, but I'm gonna give it some time, so maybe in a couple months I'll make an updated one on new patterns that have been released. There's some very cute ones. So for hitting 1,000 subscribers, I soon will upload my mini mushroom tutorial. Um, and I'll, I did get permission to release the mini mushroom from the original creator because I didn't want to steal her thunder or anything or step on her toes um, or their toes, I'm not sure. But they, I appreciate them letting me, they did immediately get back to me so I could release it. So I thank them and I'll be posting that video sometime this month. I'm also working on the PDF versions of my bear pattern and I will probably be posting it on Etsy soon. Um, whenever I can afford to set up my Etsy and start putting some of my patterns up there, I'll be doing that. And I thank you so much to everybody that bought the bear pattern. You guys are awesome. I was so thrilled with my first sale. I like was so excited somebody bought the full bundle and I was so happy and then I got a couple more sales after that and I've always wanted to design crochet, always. And I've always talked about it and didn't really have the fire under me to genuinely like buckle down and learn to write patterns. And I think now that I've learned to write patterns, it's so easy and I'm so excited to you know, show you guys all of these patterns that I'm working on and keep working on them. Hopefully have, make one a month at minimum um, and maybe some freebies, some mini ones like I've been doing. Anyways, thank you. You can check me out on my TikTok or my Instagram and I appreciate you checking out this video. Subscribe if you would like to. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me and uh, have a great crafting week.